you know what you want kwa hiyo fahamu kwamba hakikisha unajua nini unachokitaka alright but we should understand lazima lakini tufahamu pia such moment like this kwamba nyakati kama hizi always the devil tries to intervene mara zote shetani amekuwa anatamani kuingilia and what he wants na anachokitaka is for us to misunderstand each other ni kwetu sisi kutokuelewana in the cost of election kwa kwa sababu kwa sababu ya uchaguzi and that's the right na hiyo si sawa we been understanding each other na kwa sababu tumekuwa tukielewana and we just need to continue being together understanding each other na tunapaswa kuendelea kuwa pamoja huku tukielewana even after elections na hata baada ya uchaguzi amen amen because what we need is our peace about ourselves kwa sababu tunachokitaka ni amani yetu general elections should not take up our uh, our our peace Uh, uchaguzi mkuu haupaswi kuondoa amani yetu. It doesn't bring sense. Hai, haitaleta mantiki. Amen. Amen. So everyone of us. Kwa hiyo kila mmoja wetu make sure that we hold on tightly your 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 peace. Hakikisha kwamba unaishikilia amani kwa nguvu kweli kweli. Anybody who comes and try to rob you. Na yeyote ambaye anataka kuja kutaka kukupora amani don't allow him. Usikubali because you need your peace even after kwa sababu unahitaji amani yako hata baada ya uchaguzi. Hallelujah. Amen. Some people actually are preaching uh, against peace. Kuna watu ambao wanahubiri kinyume na amani. Don't listen to them. So excuse simply. Kiraisi kabisa. Mm, just don't listen to them. Kwamba usiwasikilize. Don't say much words. Wala usiseme maneno mengi. Don't fight them. Wala usipambane nao. But refuse do what they want to do. Cha kufanya wewe ni kukataa kufanya wanachotaka ufanye. And you do what you're supposed to do. Na ufanye kile ambacho unapaswa kukifanya. By doing that. Kwa kufanya hivyo, you keep your peace. Utaweza kuheshimia amani yako. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we should not bring, you know, hatred in the country. Kwa hiyo tusilete chuki ndani ya kanisa, ndani ya nchi because we need each other. Kwa sababu tunahitajiana. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But we as a church, kwa sisi kama kanisa, our 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 responsibility, jukumu letu is to pray. Ni kuomba. Yes. Tell your neighbor we need to pray for our peace. Ombe jirani yako tunahitaji kuomba kuhusiana na swala hili. Why? Kwa nini? Because God has directed us to do that. Kwa sababu Mungu ametu ametuagiza tufanye hivyo. We are supposed to pray for the peace. Tunapaswa kuomba kwa amani ya taifa letu. Hallelujah. Amen. You remember first Timothy? Nakumbuka uh, waraka wa kwanza kwa Timotheo. Amen. 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 Can you read there first Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 3? Read it please. What is happening? Chapter 2 verse 1 to 3. Na Mungu ninasema Basi kabla ya mambo yote nataka dua na sala na maombezi na shukrani zifanyike kwa ajili ya watu wote. Kwa ajili ya wafalme na wote wenye mamlaka tuishi maisha ya utulivu na amani. Katika utaua wote na ustani hivu hili ni zuri nalo la kubalika mbele za Mungu mwokozi wetu praise god amen praise god amen this is what the that verse says ambacho mstari huu unasema we should pray for one another lazima tuombeane but most far mostly lakini cha muhimu zaidi pray for the kings and those who are in the authority Tuombe kwa ajili ya wafalme na wenye mamlaka. Why? Kwa nini? Those are the people who can actually disturb. Kwa sababu hao ni watu ambao wanaweza wakavuruga amani. For example, 
If me and you fight, kama mimi na wewe tukipambana, it will bring many, you know. The, the, the impact is very low. Haitakuwa na athari kubwa. But once the kings are fighting, lakini wafalme wanapopambana, what happens? Nini kinatokea? The whole nation, taifa zima. Linapata This way this verse was written. Na ndio sababu mstari huu uliandikwa kwa ajili ya kanisa. We need to pray for the kings. Tunahitaji kuomba kuna kuombea kwa those who are in authority. Na wale ambao wako kwenye mamlaka. Now we are in a very critical condition. Na sasa hivi tu wenye kipindi kigumu sana. There is fighting for elections. Kuna mapigano kwa ajili ya au mivutano kwa ajili ya siasa na uchaguzi. So this fighting na hizi haya mapambano may cause disability yanaweza kuleta disability inaweza kuleta ikaondoa ustahivu wa kitaifa especially our peace hasa amani yetu so we need to pray kwa hiyo tunahitaji kuomba kwambie jirani yako pray for your nation omba kwa ajili ya taifa lako pray for your kings and all those who are the authority omba kwa ajili ya wafalme na wenye mamlaka for our peace and tranquility na amani yetu na utulivu amen amen tomorrow kesho we ask the committee sisi kama kamati uh, the committee of um, kesha mkubwa kamati ya mkesha mkubwa we are meeting tunakutana for the prayers uh, towards the elections. Uh, tutakutana kwa ajili ya maombi ya kuelekea kwenye uchaguzi mkuu. This is a special meeting. Hii huu ni mkutano muhimu sana. Amen. Amen. And we need to be there. Na tunahitajika kuwepo. Hallelujah. Amen. You may say I don't have time. Unaweza ukasema sina muda. But lakini see how it is important. Angalia namna gani ilivyo muhimu because if there is no peace in the land kama ukiwa na hakuna amani kwenye nchi you cannot go to your work wewe unapenda kazi ngapi cannot go to school wewe unapenda shule ni amen amen you cannot even go to 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 to, to, to the church to worship wewe unaweza kuja kanisani ku kwa gudu so for no say kwa hiyo usiseme i don't have time kwamba sina muda you must have a time tell your neighbor must have a time lazima uwe na muda hallelujah amen we are meeting in different different denominations churches tuna kutana watu kutoka makanisa mbalimbali although it's a small group uh, licha ya kwamba ni kundi dogo but we shall pray lakini tutaomba hallelujah amen hallelujah amen and i know god has been asked answering question our, our prayers na tunafahamu kwamba mungu amekuwa akijibu maombi yetu so ingawa there are a lot of groups in Tanzania who are praying kuna makundi mengi sana hapa Tanzania ambayo yanaomba lazima waendelee kuomba hallelujah amen but there is importance of coming together for prayer na lakini kuna umuhimu wa kuja pamoja kwenye maombi that's what the bible says in psalm actually 133 ndio maana kwenye kitabu cha zaburi uh, 133 aha coming together in unity kama njoni pamoja katika umoja. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is much more. Kuna mengi sana. When you meet and coming together for the same cause. Napokuja pamoja kwa jambo moja. Actually you can just read it that one. It's very very important. Some people they do not understand the the matter why we should come together and pray. Baadhi ya watu hawa Hallelujah. The prayer of agreement. Muhimu wa the mantle. Psalm 133. What is happening? This why is always say use actually. He uses the text. It's easy. Yeah so reading from the book of Psalm 133 says tazama jinsi ilivyo vema na kupendeza ndugu wakae pamoja kwa umoja you see now uh-huh. go ahead ni kama mafuta mazuri kichwani uh-huh. yashukayo mbevuni uh-huh. mbevu za haruni uh-huh. 
yashukayo mpaka upindo wa mavazi yake kama umande wa hermoni ushukao milimani pasayuni maana ndiko bwana aliko amuru baraka na hata uzima uzima hata milele praise god so coming together in unity wao kuja pamoja kwa umoja there is a special anointing kuna kuwa na kibali ama kuna kuwa na uwepo kuna kuwa na uwepo maalum na upako maalum yes and through that anointing kupitia upako huo there is a special a special special blessings kuna baraka maalum kabisa which is called commanded commanded blessings ambazo zimeamriwa zinaitwa baraka zilizoamriwa so you can't get them if you are not coming together kwa hiyo hauwezi kuzipata kama hauji pamoja katika and he's talk about brethren na anazungumzia watu waliookoka now we is church na sisi kama kanisa all those who are born again wote ambao tumeokoka we need to come together in unity tunahitaji kuja pamoja katika umoja and pray na kuomba not only one church sio tu sio kanisa moja ah 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 and other churches na makanisa mengine pia who are also believing in this ambao wanaamini katika swala hili haleluya amen and the bible says na biblia inasema when two or three come together in agreement kwamba wawili watatu wanapokutana pamoja kwa makubaliano uh, i will answer nitajibu so coming together in one unity is a commanded one kwa hiyo kuja pamoja katika umoja ni swala ambayo limeamriwa because also god promised that he will answer your prayers kwa sababu mungu pia ameahidi kwamba atajibu maombi hayo tell your neighbor maombi jirani yako we need to come together tunahitaji kuja pamoja say tomorrow kesho at 9 o'clock sa 3 kamili hallelujah 9 o'clock sa 3 sa 3 kamili asubuhi yes epsinza sinza wami namba 6 wami namba 6 we are meeting there tunakutana pale hallelujah amen hallelujah church amen doing what kufanya nini to what what kuombea nini Elections. for what kwa ajili ya nini for our peace and tranquility hallelujah amen praise god amen ask your neighbor are you going to be there muulize jirani yako utakuwepo yes hallelujah hallelujah pray my friend tell your neighbor pray mwambie jirani yako omba pray my friend pray 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 Omba 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 less if not be regretted if not regret